and I'm just gonna select rounded rectangle tool and I'm gonna create and I'm gonna create this button drag it to the stage increase the opacity to 100 and you'll see it's black now I want to make it to some gray I'm gonna go to the blending options again gradient and give it gray and then gray Okay, let's select this one and give it gray and gray. Gray and dark gray right now. Okay, I'm gonna hit okay. Okay, now I'm gonna create one more rounded rectangle shape. Sorry. like this one and there I'm just gonna uh, change the styles to none and I'm just gonna change the color to white and now I can increase the opacity to make it look like a glass you see there now I'm gonna take the text tool and I'm gonna create text I'm going to use the same font pretty good there <clears throat> now I'm going to uh, just remove the background or you can just create the transparent document if you want and I'm going to say this trim yeah we want this effect now I'm going to save it as because we are creating a roll over buttons uh, that's why I'm gonna save it right now as a PNG first. Uh, home. Okay, let's just button one dot PNG. It okay now. There, I'm gonna change the color to red. Reading overlay, and I'll just change the color to red. First, the maroon color, then the red color. So, our font is not going to move, our button will be in the same size, so it will look pretty good when the cursor will come on it. Again, PNG, and just name this button tool dot PNG. Okay, now. Now we don't have to use the photo editing software because everything is done. Now I'm gonna go in Adobe Dreamweaver and I'm gonna select site, new site from the top menu, new site, and I'm gonna name this 